Wake up and be vegan in this time of cleaning. Part 5 of 6 on Between Master and Disciples Given in English on June 26, 2020 We still have a lot of herbs, you know, even though crowded. Yes. Oh, we'll be nine billion or something. We are seven billion now, right? Yes, yes. Master. Even uh, seven billion, but we still have a lot of room everywhere, you know? Yes, yes Master. Even Taiwan. If you have uh, some time to go to Taiwan and then you go out on many different roads and, and even on the highway, you will see many empty. A mountain forest is still there. Yeah? Yes, that's true. Oh, of course, it belongs to the government, and you can't just go there and leave it random. Yeah. <laughs> you can't just bring a tent there and say, oh, it's no man land. <laughs> but if they come up and legally, they can just live anywhere. There's still many room left. Yeah? I yes. Think. Even Hong Kong, believe it or not, they still have mountains and forests. Yes, 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 yes. Untouched. Because sometime I was thinking of uh, uh, buying land in Hong Kong for disciples to meditate. Mm. Because the present uh, center is very small. No? For Hong Kong, good enough, but not for everybody, for international. Huh? Yes, yes. And they want me to stay there. And I also like Hong Kong very much at that time. At that time, to me, Hong Kong is very free, very advanced in many aspects. And the Hong Kong people are very nice. Mm. Yes. Uh, the the one I met, yeah. Yes, yes, yes. I thought maybe it's it's good to be there, yeah. And then, but I cannot find any suitable place. Yeah. But even then, Hong Kong had big places, you know, but not big enough, big like for two, three thousand, five thousand people. But we are exceeding that, yeah. Yes. So yes. even though for Hong Kong it's very big, but it's not suitable, huh, for retreat and all that. Sometimes. Yes. 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 But I did uh, get some more more new land for Hong Kong people. Oh wow! Oh. I think they buy uh, one uh, one piece or two for themselves, and other pieces I buy. Yeah. Oh. Uh, and renovate my little hut and all that. <laughs> 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 Even Hong Kong and Taiwan have a lot of free land left. In the earth, we have a lot lot of land left. Yeah. Yes. Like uh, maybe. If you want to own a big land, you can go to Siberia, for example. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Maybe with fifty thousand dollars, you can buy many, many hectares, no? Yes, yes, yes Yeah, all for yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't that be nice? <laughs> Freedom. Hmm? Yes. Space, no neighbors. Yeah. <laughs> no spying. <laughs> The dogs can run forever. <laughs> mm? We don't have to leash them. They'll be too tired to, to run anymore, <laughs> anywhere. <laughs> so probably just drop somewhere and we just go pick them back up. <laughs> pick them up and bring them back. <laughs> that will be freedom, huh? Yes, yes master. master. Also in Mongolia, they have a big uh, Gobi desert. Gobi desert, eh? Yes, mm. yes master. People live there, you know? In yes, some area yes. there are water. Yeah. So they live in there. So if we are... Not uh, convenient or comfortable, we can all go there. <laughs> yeah, this, uh, they will be welcoming us, yeah? <laughs> Desert people are very generous, you know? Yes. Uh, in their house, they always leave some food and drink for anyone who come in. Their house never locked. Wow. Always leave some food and drink enough for a few days for, for the travelers, whoever, wow. pass by their house, if they need them. But most people, they're very honest, they also bring their own food. Just that if they need it, they can. You see, they can stay in their house, eat their food, sleep on their bed, drink their water, wow. however precious it is. They leave it open for travelers. How nice, huh? That's very nice. If the whole world do that, if the whole world learn from that, wouldn't that be wonderful? Yes, yes, yes. yes. Yeah, instead of throwing food away, why don't give to the poor? Yes. yes. Throwing food away is so that to keep the price high. Oh, I understand. Many times, many farmers, many producers of fruit, vegetables, they throw them away. Mm. Even though they can give it to the poor, give it to food bank or whatever. Our world still have a lot, a lot of work to do.
So you guys hang on in there, okay? Yes, yes master. master. Just hang yourself. Not hang yourself, but hang yourself on SMTV work. We're with you, master. Yeah. Stabilize yourself there. Don't think of going anywhere. Doing what? <laughs> huh? And you see the work, chaotic outside? Huh? Yes, yes master. master. Even if you go out, can you even find a job or can you even find your life? Your guarantee, your insurance? No, insurance is only money, life. Nobody can insure you. Right, yes. Yeah, life is so impermanent, so unpredictable. Nobody expect this COVID-19 came so up at your door like that. No, no? Yes, yes. We've been talking about it, warning about it, but nobody can. Ah, God. Why don't you just change, you know, just change all into organic farming, give subsidized money to, to these meat industry people, yeah? Yes, master, yes. master. Yeah, and then they change their life. If they have money from government, they would change, yeah? Yes. Then they start new life. Why wait until everybody's sick and then cannot work and no income and have to pay for everybody like this and make the country bankrupt? Yes, yes, yes master. master. And don't know if can even get up again. Yes, yes, master. I read some news or some headline. They say that COVID nineteen has brought this country to its knees. Correct, mm. master. Really prostrate some countries. Yes, master. Making debt more and more, and people life cannot even save. Why wait for this to happen? Why? Why, if none already? Disease are caused all by animals. At least 75%, yeah? Yes, yes, Master. The rest are, I think, uh, hereditary. But also because uh, the ancestor or the parents or the grandparents are eating meat, that's why the system are weak. Right. Yes. Yes. yes, And then the disease is there and then it stays in the family. If they have been living with clean, vegan diet, or at least even vegetarian diet, it wouldn't have been so bad. Huh? They wouldn't have even disease to to pass on to their poor, uh, precious children, yeah? Because in Vietnam we say, if the parents eat too salty food, then the children will be thirsty. Oh, mm. uh, yes. Yeah, just like we say, we have uh, the ancestor sin, ancestor sin pass on to the children, the next generation, yes, eh? yes, That's what they say. Every country they have similar saying, I think. Yes, yes master. master. What did they say in America? They say something like the sins of our ancestors we have to pay for. It's similar to what you said already, Master. Mm -hmm. We have the such saying too. What did they say? So Zong Zui Kia Di Tam means uh, the grandfather's sin will pass down to the grandson, etc. Ah, the grandfather's sin will pass yes. down to the children. Oh. Yes, yes. That is very spiritual, is another thing. In our lab, we also say something like, uh, if somebody do something bad, okay, or treat somebody badly, and that uh, victim would say to the aggressor, say, oh, please, think about it. Uh, leave some merit to your children, won't you? Mm -hmm. It's something like that, okay? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Like, stop making trouble because your children will we inherit your bad karma, that's what I mean, yeah? Also, yes. Yes. not just eating salty food. <laughs> <laughs> it's similar meaning anyway. Yes. Mm. yes. Okay. So, uh, what else? I see my diary, anything else I talk to you about? Uh, that's about the thing, about the, the light, the northern light. Huh? Oh, on the uh, 14, Sunday, the spider came again. Oh. <laughs> they, they're surrounding me all the time now. <laughs> they come anytime, surprise me. Uh, I said, hey, buddy, what? <laughs> <laughs> I call them buddies, yeah? Yes, what? Yes. So he said to me, quotation mark, bow to you, end quote. So wow. I said, what for? Can you even bow? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I said it to your sister already or not. Maybe I did, no? You don't know how the conference has not came out yet, huh? It hasn't aired yet, Master. 
Oh, you know what? I just want to say hello to you, actually, and to ask whether or not you okay if anything you need. Oh, and I wanted to tell you something before I forgot. I wanted to to call you to tell you that if you have fan, you know, don't blow it directly on your face all uh, the time, yeah. Please, please. Maybe for some minutes, and you cool down, and then you direct it in another part of the body or sideway, okay? Yes, yes, sir. yes sir. If it's cool enough already, don't direct it on your body because the dust from your room or your place will blow into your nose, yeah? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Sometimes you carry something not favorable if you don't clean it every day, knowing you guys, men. Yeah? <laughs> I understand that. Because I just uh, uh, saw in some news, they say that uh, it could make you sick, you know? Yes, 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 yes. Uh, dry your skin. See, oh, that you don't like it. You want to stay handsome, see. Huh? <laughs> and they say also, make your sore throat, yeah? Yes, yes. And cough. Sometimes if you cough during the night, for some reason, can you hear me? Yes, Still? yes. Okay, good. I have two phones here, imagine. One phone is to record my beautiful old face, and another <laughs> phone is to hear you. <laughs> yes, master. Yeah. It's the mobile phone. Yeah, the mobile phone. That's how I can hear you because the landline don't work. Uh. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I am a very low tech people. <laughs> I don't care. We have spontaneous meetings sometimes. It's better than too much preparing. Okay. Yes, yes master. master. Too much preparing. I lost it. You see. Yes, yes master. master. I lost my loving feeling. Yes. My yes. patience. My inspiration. Uh, whatever, yeah? Yes, master. Master. We are not machine, you know? Yes, master. It's always official or professional. If I say, I'm professional all the time or in all these decades, every time in front of thousands or hundreds of people already, yeah? Yes, yes master. So when I talk to my own family members, I don't need to always be so long preparing or waiting for professional equipment and all that. Who cares, yeah? Yes, master. Yes, master. I'm old already. Let's face it. No matter how much touch up, <laughs> don't look younger. Don't look too much younger. Yeah. You still look good, master. People love me anyway. Yes, yes, yes. master. Who okay, what I look like? Yes, 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 master. We love you. I'm confident people love me. Yes, <laughs> we do, master. Everyone does. <laughs> Self esteem, very high. Yeah, I have proof for it. Yeah. Because I have proven my personal experience. See my dog? Do they look like me? No. Do they look like a handsome guy or anything? No. I love them so much. Yes, Master. The dogs, they don't look anything like we imagine. They don't look like us, no? Mm. no ah, some do, some do. Some do look like the owners, but <laughs> not all the dogs that look like me, no? <laughs> Even if they do or not, I still love them so much. Yes, yeah, you yes. know that. I sometimes uh, get on well with some humans, a uh, caretaker of the dogs, because I love them so much. I love the dogs so much. I worry they don't, they do this not right, do that not right. Understand? Yes, yes. yes. And for love, uh, sometimes it's not uh, very good for me. <laughs> that people might think I treat dogs better than them. It's not true. I just more protective because they they like children, you know. Yes, yes master. master. They are very dependent on us because we bring them into our home and they live according to our rules. Now they cannot be outside and be free and, and take care of themselves. Yes, yes master. master. So we have to take good care of them, and I think I know how. That's all. That's why I tell some people should do this to do that. Like in summer, you, you trim the hair, you know, even we have air con, but better trim the hair. Huh? Yes, yes. So when they go out walking, they don't get out of breath. You see what I'm saying? I understand yes, that. And drool all over the planet like that. <laughs> yeah. Because of some of their tongue, they have to let it out, you know, the drool come out so that it cool off. Yeah? Yes, yes <laughs> But for that, sometimes, you know, people don't like to, to be told off. I feel sorry also. Sometimes I apologize. Sometimes I don't. Because I know I'm right. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. But even then, nobody likes to be told that they're wrong. Yeah, I know that. It hurts the ego, no? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Because of the dogs. <laughs> Not because of any, any treasure or money or job or competition for beauty or anything that I make a, you know, a rip with people. Yes, miss. Never mind. So I asked him, what for? 
Why did I say to? Yeah. Oh, because I cut off this to tell you about the fan, huh? Yes, yes master. master. It's true. If I have fan at night because I want to save aircon sometime, then I put the fan next to me on my face to cool off. Then I cough. Um. And my soul very uh, dry, you know, almost sore in the morning. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If you wake up uh, at night and cough a few cough, you you drink three very little sip of water, okay? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Always put water next to you, clean water, and you drink just three little sip, not big drink. Yes, yes. Master. That's the cure. I hope I tell you, and then I, <laughs> I still can keep it. Uh, Every well. time I tell you something later, I don't have it. I don't worry, I have other <laughs> stuff, maybe, maybe it works.